Let the Sparks Fly. Our reading is from the book of Acts, the second chapter, verses 1 through 21, the story of Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a mighty wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every people under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how, how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes. Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Fellow Jews and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Fire is a biblical symbol of God's presence that occurs with life striking against God. In the third chapter of the Old Testament book of Exodus, there is the story of Moses encountering God through a bush that is burning, but is not consumed. In Luke chapter 12, verse 49 from the New Testament, Jesus states, I came to bring fire to the earth. In today's scripture reading from Acts, from the book of Acts, fire is represented as life sparks against God, strikes against God's presence on the day of Pentecost. It is a time in which God's presence is described as the Holy Spirit, as fire on the head of each apostle. A great interest in this is, the, is what happens to Peter who had denied he knew Jesus when Jesus was being crucified. After the Holy Spirit dances upon his life, Peter the denier becomes Peter the proclaimer as he tells the story of Jesus and of God's redemption through Jesus. As Peter speaks of this, he cites the prophet Joel, who talks about God's Spirit being poured out upon all flesh. Well, the good news today is, is that the message Peter shared on the first Pentecost day is the message we proclaim. For God's Spirit is dancing upon our lives this day. Sparks of God's presence are being seen throughout the world. There is, on this day, the promise of God's Spirit. There there is a photographer who went to the train station in Germany or in Poland waiting for persons from Ukraine, refugees from Ukraine to arrive. He, his name is Francisco Malavolta. And as he went to take pictures, he noted that there were strollers at the train station He found out that the strollers had been left behind by Polish parents for Ukrainian mothers who were fleeing. 
he, re, he thinks about, in thinking about this, he states, I thought of them both, about the solidarity of those who brought the strollers and the dramatic stories of mothers fleeing the war. He snapped a photo and, and uploaded it to social media where it became a powerful image. And he says there is a strong feeling of solidarity there should always be and for everyone, regardless of the starting points of the most fragile. Friends, the sparks are flying with signs of God's presence among those who are fleeing and those who offer refuge. Sparks are flying as, God's, as God is present. Thousands of German residents have offered housing food, clothes, and other necessities to Ukrainians who have fled their home country. With posters in hand, they greet those who are coming from Ukraine. Sparks of God's presence are still being seen in the world today. On this Pentecost, sparks of God's presence are seen and flying in Africa where persons who have been displaced by inter-ethnic violence in the Central African Republic are receiving food and supplies from the United Methodist Church. United Methodist Churches in Ukraine, Poland, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Bulgaria, Estonia, and Romania provide hospitality to refugees who are fleeing their countries, just as the Ukrainians are fleeing their homes. Zimbabwe, East Angola, Burundi, Nigeria, South Congo, and Haiti. There are health centers that are being strengthened as the United Methodist Church addresses staff and education needs in the procuring of medicine and other medical supplies. The sparks are flying in Lynchburg as Fort Hill United Methodist Church provides food for the neighboring community and those in need through the blessing box. On this Pentecost Sunday, the message that Peter shared on the first Pentecost is the message that we share, is that the sparks are flying. Sparks of God's presence as life strikes against God. The sparks are, are flying throughout the world and here. And the real question is not, are the sparks flying? The real question of Pentecost is, how are we witnessing? How are we letting the sparks of God's presence fly in our lives? May God bless us as we let the sparks fly in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Amen. There's nothing Your glory, God.
Let us pray. God, let the sparks fly this day so that through our lives, the power of your presence will be known. Grant us the courage to proclaim with Peter the story of Jesus so that people from all over the world will hear the message of your love being spoken in their language through Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, may God bless you as you let the sparks fly. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Amen.